Hey guys, John here again from PortableDeviceParts.com with another tutorial. Today's laptop is a Dell Inspiron 1525 with a broken screen and I'm going to show you how to replace that screen. This is a 15.4 CCFL. What that means, it's an LCD, not an LED. In the comments below you can see a link to the correct screen. With these screens, you have to be careful. Uh, make sure that you do buy one suited for a Dell. Don't just buy any 15.4. The reason being is that Dell have a special code on the back of their screens which aren't interchangeable. So you just have to make sure you're buying the right one. Now, first of all, make sure you re remove the battery from the actual laptop. Once you've removed that battery, you need just one set of tools, which is a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, once you've got that Phillips head, put it aside, and the first step is you need to re remove the actual, as you can see in this situation, I've actually taken the caps off the bezel screws, and um, I've kind of done a bit of a head start, but you'll find that there's one, two, three, four, five, and six to remove. So you take the little caps off, you put them aside, make sure you don't lose them. Most, most people lose them, so put them aside, and then you take out the screws one by one. So I'll just show you how that's done now with a simple Phillips head. So we go one, put the screws in a place that you know where you're not gonna lose them, like a workbench or, you know, a little bucket of some sort, because they, they are the most common screws to lose on a laptop when you're replacing the broken screen. Okay, I'll try not to get in the way of the camera. Now all the screws are gone out of the screen and now you have to remove the bezel. So the bezel, what you need to use is two hands. If you use one, you might break it. Two, using two hands will create more of a, a broad type space. So you just get two hands at the bottom, pull, and this one's obviously already been opened so it's fairly easy, but then around the edge here, you do that pulling again, and you'll hear a click like you're almost breaking the plastic. Don't worry, the clicking sound is good, and you keep on going around. Putting your hands underneath, and I'll try and move it around and show you guys. And slowly, you go around and you'll be able to get to the bottom now. Now this part can be tricky, so you just need to jimmy it a bit and it'll pop out. Okay, once that's popped out, you've got the LCD screen exposed. Now the simple part is you've got two arms on the left and on the right and you need to take the screws out. In this situation there's four screws I think. I've already taken out most of them so just take out the two on the top. Now if it's hard to move the, the arms up at the bottom just undo these screws here a little bit, just slightly, so there's a bit of movement with the arms. Don't take them all out because it'll just be a bit more awkward to work with. But you can if you want. So, you take the arms up, and I'll try and get out of the way. Um, and I'll just move it back, maybe you can't see it. And you just take the screws out here. So that's obviously one. There's a few screws on each side. I think it's two or three from what I can remember. Okay. Okay, now, the other side. And just try and rest it back a bit like that so there's no movement. Okay, now, fold the screen forward, and you'll have the actual cable exposed. Now, this will be attached here, okay? What you need to do is remove the screws from the bottom here, okay, and, and then slide it, slide it off, okay? So once that's, that's the inverter, once you slide that inverter off, you're done. And now we need to unplug this cable, and we need to unplug this cable going into the inverter, and this one. So you've got three of them. Okay, so what we do is, we get our finger, 
and we just go underneath this one, just find, try and find some leverage, and you pull it out like that. Then you do the inverter cable, and then finally we do this. And I'll just pull it back so you guys can see. We finally do this one and pull that out. Okay, and there's the old broken screen out. And once we're finished with that, we get the new one and we put it back in and we do everything in reverse. So it's pretty simple. You plug the inverter back in. Now, with the new screen, most likely because the new models don't come out with an inverter holder, you can just leave it hanging at below because once you put the bezel on, everything's going to be smug. So don't worry about locking it back in. Okay, just put everything back together like this. And do everything in reverse. So once again, thanks for watching this vid. Please uh, like it and please subscribe to the channel for more uh, tips on how to replace your portable device parts. And please visit the link portabledeviceparts.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.